jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to rock and what also fresh air. Hey! I'm back in the bed for an afternoon nap. All you can do when the weather is crap. Rainy, rainy, rain, 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 rain. Uh, and by nap, I mean just lay here and look at social media because I can't really, I can't really nap, but I'm comfortable. Um, real comfortable. What to do, no chefs? Tomorrow is Mama Bree's birthday, aka my mom, aka Sabrina to others. She will be 53, but don't tell her I told y'all her age. <laughs> Uh, she has requested me make her my shrimp and grits for her birthday tomorrow morning for breakfast. So I'm going to be making her some shrimp and grits. I'm super excited to make it for her because I love seeing people happy and none other than the best person that I know and my favorite person, my mom. Uh, I love seeing her happy too. So I'm going to make some shrimp and grits. We're going to go to the grocery store, get all the ingredients for it and uh, run a few other errands and go to an appointment while we're at it. Uh, my mom and sister have an appointment. So I'm gonna roll with them and then I'm gonna get the ingredients for the shrimp and grits. And then we're gonna make some shrimp and grits. I'm gonna take you guys on the journey shopping and then I'm also gonna take you all on the journey when I cook it. So I'm excited to cook for her. I love my mom a lot. I'm so thankful for her. I am blessed to have her in my life. Um, I just love her to death. Like she's everything. She's she's just the bomb. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting a little emotional thinking about it. It's just, I'm so thankful that she's still here with us and she's been through so much and she's been a, a trooper, a fighter, a survivor and a no shit taker. <laughs> so uh, she definitely deserves to be celebrated every day, especially on her 53rd birthday tomorrow. So if you all can, when you see this, and if you see this, just send Mama Bree some love tomorrow. But yeah, I'm excited to make her some food and, uh, and, and make sure that she has a happy, beautiful, joyous birthday tomorrow because she really deserves it more than anyone I know. And uh, I'm so thankful to share a birthday month with her. <laughs> Both of us are Sagittarius, which is why we're a little crazy. And uh, we, we tend to have a lot of fun. So overall, I'm just thankful, just thankful to have another year with my mom and to be able to celebrate her. And all of you out there who have a mom, love on them, hug on them, and make sure you tell them how much you appreciate them because you only get one. You only get one mom, one. No do-overs. So make sure you do it right the first time. And I know that some people may have issues with their parents or their mom or they may not talk to their mom but if you are out there today and you don't talk to your mom pick up the phone and text her or call her today even if what you went through was was hard just do it for yourself and do it for your sanity just just reach out to your mom because you only get one and they're not perfect they're people they're individuals just like us and i think we tend to forget that because we put our parents on a pedestal uh, especially as young children, but when you realize that they're people and that they make mistakes, that they are, uh, that they don't know everything, that they can't fix everything, that they aren't perfect, you know, you start to realize those things that makes them human. And I think that's also a beautiful transition if you allow it to be. Um, obviously, I know that things that people have been through with their parents and moms and dads are very different. So you take that as it comes, but I encourage all of you to love on your parents, especially your moms who made you and held you in their bellies for nine months. Love on them, reach out to them. If you haven't talked to them, I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but if you haven't spoken to your mom in a while, shoot her a text, shoot her a, a, an email, f Facebook messenger, call her, um, because I'm, I'm sure she'd appreciate it, especially during this time of year when we're getting closer to the holidays. Christmas is in nine days and we all want to feel that love from our loved ones. So even if she doesn't respond back, reach out. Even if you don't feel it in your heart to, to that it's right, that it feels good, do it because it could that could change um, because life is short. And I think we're all realizing that, especially with this pandemic. But uh, that's all I'm going to say right now. Enjoy this video. It's just me uh, going out with my sister and my mom and we're going to be doing some shopping, like I said before. So. Thank you all so much for following me and, and staying along my journeys and, and loving my family like you all do. It really means the world. You don't even know. So, yeah. <laughs>
barely made it outside, y'all. Still a terribly yucky day. It's a wintry mix. It's mostly rain, it's wet and cold. And we are all just kind of blah. Look at, look at the, look, look who. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> God is so good. Hallelujah! Let it rain on me, yeah. Nights like this, I wish that rain drops will fall. Let it rain, let it rain on me, yeah. Man, seriously. <laughs> hey, don't be saying no S words on my thing to make my, C my CPM go down. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't turn the car off. You gonna leave the car on? Lock the door, DJ. Lock the door, DJ. We are at Publix getting some groceries. Cause guess whose birthday's tomorrow? That one up there in the front. Mama Bree. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> <laughs> They hit you right at the front door with the holiday treats. Some money! I can't make 
Man, Chick-fil-A really loves America, don't they? Hmm. One guy said he went to Chick-fil-A 115 days straight. What? <laughs> it was on the news. 115 days straight. That's crazy, man. Say why? He was trying to outbeat somebody else. They went 113, so he did 115. <laughs> I'm telling you. I was sick.